Hello and welcome to Against the Storm. It is the Slice is Right. And as you can tell, there's a camps update. It's been a while since I've played, but I've been checking it out. So it has some updates. <laughs> No, it's just uh it's mostly a camps update, but it changed a lot of the of the uh, cornerstones and the um, no, not the cornerstones. It did change some cornerstones, but it changed a lot of the orders and how they pay out and then apparently they revamped the Royal Woodlands, which is where you do the archaeology. They wanted it to be more dissimilar from the Woodlands ones, the Royal Woodlands. All right, so we had some choices to pick up some stuff, right? But I feel like a good way. Oh, didn't collect that. Um, I feel like a good way to test this out is to just hop into the hardest thing I could think of, which is probably the daily expedition. I typically think of those as like difficult playthroughs. Um, so we've got some points to spend and I obviously was not looking through that because I had the update screen. Um, plus one cornerstone reroll per settlement. The queen's impatience like for 30 seconds doesn't really intrigue me. Uh, the ten percent more citadel resources whenever you finish a settlement is only useful until I get this last one, and we're pretty filled in. So, like, not super thrilled about that path being the last one I chose, but I'm also just not excited about it. Whatever, let's just pick the parts. We're not really caring. We can't even use embarkation points on this mode. We'll hop into Prestige 4, where villagers with low resolve leave faster. Um, there's no fertile soil here, which means that we're actually going to get to try out this camp system pretty well. The caravans lost someone on the way who unfortunately was carrying all the cooking equipment. All food recipes are 50% slower. Oh, great. This region was heavily exploited by other viceroys. Hostility doesn't grow with each passing year, but you'll gain two more hostility per villager. So larger populations are the only way we're getting more hostility. Um, and, you know, opening glades and stuff. But we're not, it's not growing every year. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this, because why not, right? Uh, we're gonna start with harpies, some meat and stuff, parts, yeah, some fuels. Let's go. Let's check it out. I didn't even check out what biome we're in or anything. And harpies leave incredibly fast, so these negative modifiers are 100% uh, faster. Is gonna make them loot all like leave so much faster. Blueprint rerolls cost 10 more amber. Yeah, so these are the prestige negative modifiers. These are the biomes. So we've got... Um, we're going to be finding these ghosts. And then that's the one where it doesn't increase per year. I do like the cursed because you can't see. They're all large um, in size. The caravan, it's, which kind of spreads out your infrastructure a little bit. But uh, I like to build our our hearths and storages out towards the stuff. But I mean, it, it's all camps on this one. It's not farmland. So I might be building less of those. The soil's too acidic. Yep. Um, all right. Cooking recipes are slower. Great. We're probably going to be eating a bunch of raw food then. What are our negative modifiers? Well, we got a, we got a positive one. Small energizing drops cause uncontrollable growth in certain species all resource nodes discovered during drizzle season have more charges okay oh and they definitely rebalance that because it's plus two on small and plus ten on large okay 
even the hardiest and we can't get the large ones now without an upgraded camp but we're not going to be choosing any farms so camps will be a good option even the hardiest villagers need some sort of cover oh wow so they all need coats or they'll get minus six resolve oh if I can't fulfill their coat need they all get minus six resolve cool the crown requires I pay five amber with each storm okay multiply by the amount of years so that's our year uh, that is the thing that passing years are gonna hurt us on um, villagers with this effect have minus two penalties to their resolve that's they need complex food and housing or complex food is slow um, I feel like this is gonna be a difficult playthrough only sacred flame can protect the settlement from the darkness surrounding it pray pay three wood for every villager if you don't they will leave Wow this is gonna be a difficult playthrough though at least things don't kick in until three but three is gonna be rough um, and let's go ahead and check out what we have here so we have copper we've got clay we've got sea marrow we've got a bunch of food on the ground but no fertile soil okay well we will start the way I always start we are gonna cut directly into a glade and yellow it we need two woodcutter camps especially with harpies because they are not good woodcutters I'm um, gonna make sure that they have a path to their hearth and their storage Um, that's going to be our sacrificial stuff, which we will probably do on this playthrough. Um, we've got some other buildings, but let's check out these camps. So, small clay deposit, so we can do that with a stone cutter's camp. I like that. I could just click there. Oh, apparently, oh, or forager's camp. Small forager's camp or just the forager's camp. We're going to up the priority. Um, only marked trees, please. Only marked trees. I like this new system. It's better than the drop down, in my opinion. And let's go. So clay will be giving us copper and roots. So some tool stuff might be nice. We will wait for our orders and our villagers to build it all out. But the good thing about harpies is we, our woodcutters will be carrying more. So they don't have to make as many trips back, hopefully. Oh, I didn't mark any trees. And these trees drop a lot of stuff and chance at doubling the wood so we will cut right through here actually I should just punch it for now like give them just a few trees to focus on we are gonna need housing before our first storm because harpies will leave super fast and our resolve is already low with them. Alright, so it's just a small glade, but we do have our first spirit. Okay, so... He requests... I think it's a this seemingly lizard ghost is requesting that we keep goods from our glade events okay and he'll want some spark dew 
I mean, he'll take a few other things, but Spark Dew's definitely the cheapest of them all. I actually kind of want to turn off these fuels for now. No, I really want to turn off those fuels for now because they might be useful in a Glade event. And then because that was just a small Glade, we will skip it for now and we will go try and find a dangerous Glade. Because high risk, high reward. That's the way we're going to play today. And I'm really hoping that this is the Dangerous Glade, or Forbidden Glade even, just so that we can uh, get that all knocked out. And I should probably up the priority on these. Okay, specialized grain farming techniques. Every time grain's produced, or every 25 times it gets plus one. Uh, three roots per minute would be nice. Uh, I like insects per trees cut down. With every discovered cache, gain a stack of the wealth effect for every two caches open. That would be a great way to keep our resolve up, but I think that just like steady food from wood cutting is going to be really useful to us. Uh, I, I, I don't think there's a really bad option there. I might regret not picking the grain, but, uh, or the grain might have been better. I'm not going to regret it. I like the insects for every two trees cut down. And I'm, I don't even think that they go into the storage here. I think those insects are just from the trees. It just goes straight into my storage. So it just like appears in my storage so they don't have to carry it back. Um, so produce a bunch of materials to get plus one production on a few things. Turn in 15 copper for two more copper production that sounds great let's do that sell 12 and have seven amber for some tools and people complete two events for more stuff I like that um, I'm not sure any of these are bad oh cut through to three glades in the within the next year we'll get five reads per minute a tool shop which would be really useful I'd also have to rebuild a destroyed building or salvage it I I just I'm not sure that we have what it takes to complete this one I don't have like a founded economy to make sure that I can like I don't I, there isn't a a building we could cut into three but not knowing what's going to be on the other side could, that could be really dangerous so I think we have to avoid this timed one as much as I love timed ones like so like these benefits are sweet they're heckin sweet um so trading post and amber would give us like a small benefit. I think we're going to have to, I, I love perks, so I think we're going to go for the perks, even though that's kind of expensive. Um, I kind of like this, just a two star of everything. Simple tools are going to be really nice to get a hold of. Uh, we might just want to upgrade our foragers camp. Grain, roots, and vegetables. There's grain, there's roots, and there's vegetables. So we we might want to pick that. Just uh, The workshop just seems so sweet. We'll, we'll we'll see what this next glade holds. Another small glade. For some tools. We're going to want to keep goods just to satisfy this ghost. What does this guy ha want? Complete four trade routes. Okay. We got 30 minutes, so we got three years to complete that. That's cool. Uh, 
Um, so it'll tell you that you've built zero. And that's cool. So these will give us some berries with our herbs and insects with our mushrooms. I still want to find a forbidden or dangerous glade. Maybe we should have taken that one. Or it's just open up three glades. In fact, we could have waited to open this one up just to see if that one popped up. So we're going to move our woodcutters over here and punch into that. Oh yeah, and we are going to want to build housing. We're running a little low on wood and stuff, but that's fine. That, that's to be expected since we're not burning the coal and the oil and we just started and we got to build a lot of things out of wood at the beginning vegetables flax I probably should be going for the sea marrow as opposed to this clay yeah let's change that Oh, I do like the copper, though. Because that'll give us the uh, plus two to copper bars. This one's going to give us plus one to copper, though, if we can complete those events. Hopefully we find a mine. So it's going to be a while, okay. It's going to be a while before we get enough people to justify an economy here. But we do finally have a dangerous glade. Um, got a ghost. A building we could have done. Yeah, we should have picked the time quest. Note to self, could have picked it. And the rain spirit totem. I like the large encampment for the people. If we could... Oh, it's going to be beavers and lizards. That's great. So we'll be get, getting more trees. Um, and then we want to convert using our coal. And I will actually, even though we're low on wood, I'm going to take a woodcutter out to do this event. We're going to want to convert it because uh, we need to reduce our hostility on this map. Let's go. That immediately dropped our heartbeat resolve by a lot. They're so sensitive. <laughs> So let's go ahead and just start clearing this up. Oh, if we can, f oh, we, we got to have another species before we can favor them. Duh. Oh, they're just going to go on break, I guess. Oh my goodness. I have to take another woodcutter out, don't I? Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. I'm trying to click on my woodcutter camp. Okay. So I guess we can start doing this. Time to build another house so we can cover our whole population. Um, actually, since we're about to, uh, wait, 
I thought I had vegetables. Oh no, mushrooms. Since we're about to get more people, I should build those houses as well. And I'm going to move this down here so that they don't have to take as long of a trip to get back to storage. Is that cheesing it a little bit? Might be cheesing it. Alright, what does this guy want? Attack any traitor. Oh, come on, dude. So, he's just going to destroy our amber and ancient tablets at the end of 30 minutes. I think that's okay. We will just sell it and buy perks, right? Okay, so I know it's not useful right now, but it will be. We're going to want a rain collector. Probably want to go ahead and pick some buildings, huh? I think we just have to pick the the workshop here. No, <sighs> we're doing it. Um. Okay, and now we can go for. Hmm. I guess uh I guess coal is always useful. Flowers a pretty useful thing to get though. And we do have a thing for building materials. Um I used to like the ranch a lot. I'm sure it's still good. Um but I think scrolls and simple tools will be more important here. Oh, we, we do need copper bars, but it is a one start. <sighs> this is so difficult. I think I think we gotta go for the camps. Like those seem like they're too important to pick early at this point. I might have needed to pick this camp as well so that I could start harvesting this stuff. Uh, it might be a com I mean, it, it is a completely different game now, right? Um, it might be a completely different play style than what I'm used to. Ah, yes, I need my makeshift posts. Or my... Hmm. My crude workstation. We'll just build out the hex pattern. I'm going to up the priority on the shelters. We do just have one worker working their butt off right now. Ooh, that's unfortunate. This isn't going to finish before the storm. We're probably going to lose some harpies. Or I could burn some coal. I could burn some coal to make up for some hostility. Oh my goodness. Lizard resolve is already low. At least it drops slowly. Okay. Let's put beavers in there if we're going to be suffering the penalty anyway. We may as well be suffering richly. S 
suffer richly. So the to storm has begun. Our resolve modifiers have not kicked in yet. We've got 10 seconds. Oh my goodness. Three seconds left. Come on. Okay. So let's go ahead and move our decoration in. It's got the minus hostility modifier on it. We're at two. So it's really helpful, except that our harpies are still losing it. Everyone's still losing it. It's insane. It's at one. Like, my goodness, burning wood. Won't even save them. Hmm. Yeah, this is a harder game than I remember it being. <laughs> All right, so we want harpies in there. Harpies in here, harpies in here. And then... go ahead and start producing these things and just lose people if we lose them, you know? At least uh, Lizard's Resolve drops slower. Harpy already left. Start producing our complex building materials. Another harpy left. Ooh, it's a lot of, it's a lot left. Yep, but we're out of stuff to burn for that. At least the beavers are sticking around, right? At least it's less mouths to feed, right? I mean, that's at zero hostility. What are we going to do, you know? My goodness. We're just losing them left and right. At least we're out of lizards. We can't lose them anymore. You know? Okay. So we can start making parts if we want. We cannot take that. Newly completed ones reduce that. Okay, we're. I think we're going to take the global resolve for every time we sell 40 ever. We can kind of cheese that. I do like the reputation points from it, but ultimately, if I could get all three of these, that'd be great. Um... So, I really want beavers because they don't leave. They won't leave me. <laughs> um, Alright. Get rid of one of you. Bring that back. And start working on that again. Wow. Okay. Two, three, 
Sure. And I guess we can get rid of our vegetable -er so we can build. Uh, with one more copper, we can force the delivery and turn in our metal veins. This is definitely a weird playthrough for me because I used to almost ignore the camps. But a tinker is going to be great. That's got our simple tool recipe, so I can't believe I didn't notice that earlier. I guess I was more concerned with the event and this guy stealing all our amber. And that he wants me to attack any trader. I mean, I guess I don't really know what the drawback is of attacking a trader. I just, I love the traders so much that we're not going to do that. And the reason we haven't built one yet is because we don't really have the economy to support it. Um, so this year we're just kind of collecting up some wood. We've got the copper coming. New orders. If I can cut through to two dangerous glades in the next nine minutes, I could get a building and some stuff. We're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, packs of building materials for basically some trade goods. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really like that pack of building materials thing, but it doesn't look like it, does it? Ten packs of provisions for some free lizard resolve. I'll take it. This means I'm going to need... Well, I guess we could go up through the menu, huh? We are going to need to build the makeshift post and the rain mill. Mm hmm. So I, I guess I should probably start cleaning up these trees over here. So that I can build a nice light post or a different 3x3. Three three. Which I guess is the same reason I should be cleaning up these vegetables. This person's working their little tail off. We're almost done down here. Oh, yeah, I need to complete four trade routes. Dang. Okay, well, I guess it's time to build a trading post. Let's put it right here. Why not? Keep goods. I mean, I've done that zero out of two times, right? Yeah, because we need tools for this. This has not been a good start, huh? <laughs> I look so weak in this game. 
Well, it seems like a new game. Uh, I do like getting the service buildings. But we're having a hard time keeping our population on this map, so it's probably not the right thing. Even with the bad copper bar recipe, this would give us a clay friendly container. Um, we'll never build a flower here. And, but even with six copper ore, we would be producing four copper bars because of our perk. So it's not that horrible of a trade off. And it would give us the ability to start working on it anyway. So. Oh, sweet. And it's a nice little 2x2 two two to fit next to our rain mill. Um. Boop, boop. Put Harpy back in the vegetable camp, start cleaning these things up. Grain would be useful for um, a flower, but we don't really have ease for the flower yet. So just the raw vegetables and insects will be fine. Um, when these guys are done with this final node, which, you know, they're doing pretty well at it. Maybe if I rotated it in the right direction, they'd go a little faster. Um, let me go ahead and put someone in there to start producing the spark do. And then we're going to want to rebuild this now because it will allow us to get tools from the copper that we can make in the stamping mill. Oh. Yeah, six for four. Oh. Yeah, we need we need a builder. Once they're done producing this, I'm going to make them a builder too. I guess I could have put a lizard in here to help save some people last storm. But we're going to get some builders up and running. probably need more of these materials. It's kind of weird having them all in the same location. But that's why I need to build the workshop, right? It's that I don't need them all in the same location here inefficiently. I need them all over here efficiently. Well, raw food also sells pretty well to traders. Ah, they just finished the stone. Or the clay. I meant, I, I, I meant clay. <laughs> we do have a lot of bugs. 16 amber is pretty good. Um, okay, insects for mushrooms. That'd be a funny thing to buy with a bunch of insects. Um, plus two to pottery production, plus two to ale production. A handy set of notes on how to survive in the wilderness. Global food production by 20% could help offset the negative modifier that we have. Um, but I think we'll just take some amber.
and buy I feel like purchasing um, purchasing a perk is is really nice right but the downside is that um, that doesn't count as good sold for that perk we picked so like I could sell this amber back to him and start cheesing up our global resolve um, but I think I think we'll hold on to it uh, offsetting the food production kind of seems nice but uh, I'm, I'm sure there's something better we can pick at a later date since we're not even producing food right now it's it's not like it's gonna immediately help us actually want to prioritize this Got more than enough housing. Need ten packs of building material. I don't even know how I was getting that coal. Maybe I should stop burning it. <laughs> yes, and they finished carrying it. They can come up here and grab some sea marrow for us. I can build a path up here. And up here if I want, right? They're working on some corruption to maybe increase. Yeah, but I actually don't even need corruption in here because I am going to be needing it in here instead, which is a bonus for having it all in one building. Is the, uh, I can double their production and only have three cysts to do that on all of my basic building materials rather than three cysts spread out across like two or three buildings I think I can afford to throw a harpy back in there spark dues useful for random things including just selling and then those are easy cysts to burn off if you want to burn them off or you can just have crazy spark dew production you know there are reasons why you might want to burn it off like for particular perks um we could be working on packs of provisions how many do we need Five, five, five. Well, five, five, ten. Oh, I probably actually need a little bit more than that because we need to complete trade routes. Oof. Yeah, I need these packs of provisions kind of ASAP. It is kind of nice that the stacking years does not affect my hostility. Urban root production increased by one for every 75 biscuits. Don't really think it's going to help. One harpy for every 25 eggs could be really fun um one ancient tablet for every two glade events completed that's useful for just trade goods but we already picked a bunch of pack of provision stuff so let's go ahead and triple down on that let's 
feels bad moment, but we'll go with it. So this guy will just simply vanish if we don't do these trade routes. That's fine. Um, this guy is really going to mess up. Mess us up. So I actually need to prioritize my packs of provisions. And I need to deliver them. Because the trade routes have to be completed. It's not even like you start for, you know. down control just kind of clear all this stuff out and then this person's gonna hold down control and clear all this stuff out I'm not ready to punch into more glades actually I need to don't I I, I have to that guy's gonna steal all my parts I need my parts. I guess I could just sell them. But that would be, that would also be bad. Six out of the 16, that's, that's not the worst thing. Guess I could give him a helper. Ah, uh, yes. No packs of building materials for you. Good. Ten. We could put a beaver in here for fun. I am supposedly getting plant fiber from this. Man, it's bad that we lost so many people in that first year. But this is one keep goods thing. If I could just get the tools, which would involve this, right? Yeah. Another small glade, but that's a, an encampment, which I don't think this is technically keep goods, right? Like, yeah, he's still at zero out of two. Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to try and open one more that potentially we can keep the goods on. It's kind of bad because of the, the tree situation, right? Uh. Hmm. Let's put someone in here. Oh, and I didn't do my trade routes. How long do I have? 
eight minutes. Okay. One part. I mean, I basically just have to do them. And I need spark too. Ah! <laughs> Okay, 10 packs of provisions. We could still do that. I don't know if we need the lizards and the resolve and stuff right now. It would be nice to get another building. Um, about to be able to deliver some packs of building materials. We'll go ahead and do that so that we can pick up our extra stuff. Uh, I might need to just save for the tools, the one though. So that we could open up a glade. We'll do it. New building. Oh, the tool shop. Coats are probably really important for us to get. Because of our hostility modifiers, but I'm gonna pick the tool shop because three star tools are sweet. Wait. Two copper bars for two tools. Yes. out the decorations six seconds on that one Low on food. Oh my goodness, that would be so sweet. We, I don't think we got the tools to do it though. Mm. We might, we might have to. <laughs> Do we, do we even have the caches to do that? Just one? Man, it sure would be nice. Um, we will be getting tool production up and running, but we're not necessarily going to have the caches for that. Five incense per minute, two more of all packs would be pretty cool. Um... Oh, we'll just chance it. Plus two cosmetic production. Three harpies if we fulfill cleanliness. Yeah, let's go with uh, this one. <laughs> and then the five packs of provisions would give us this. But again, I think... I think we need these tools so that we can open these caches, right? Which means that I need to reprioritize how everyone is, right? 
let's just get rid of all this stuff. And we can start to work on our tools. So we need copper bars for sure. It's going to take a beaver. It's not actually a production bonus though, so we can go with the harpy. We are going to need spark dew. The packs of building materials. We don't need to be making. I'll return all this stuff and okay, yeah, probably shouldn't return that stuff. Bugs and stuff. We don't really need to be making packs of crops, um, but I. I actually do really need these packs of provisions. That I still can't make fabric. Like, where's all this plant fiber that's supposed to be coming off my trees? I need the tools. <laughs> we don't have fabric. What am I supposed to do? I could salvage it for tools. And that's what we're going to do. But I do need bricks. the 10 packs of building materials, don't I? This is a difficult map. A petrified tree, huh? Okay, yeah, we're keeping the goods. Because we want to satisfy that ghost's desires six minutes Ooh. and I'm gonna have to have 40 spark too which I'm, it's not looking good on that oh trade routes I need to complete another trade route quickly anything okay Oh, because I don't have a pack of provisions. Right, 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 right. Because I can't make packs of provisions, right? Because they're carrying insects back instead of meat. Like, are you kidding me? It's just not looking good.
Okay, yeah, that's gonna be cutting it real, real, real close. I don't even think we can get the tools in time, right? We're gonna have to try. Deliver. Del deliver the goods. Stop producing things. Deliver the goods. I need this trade route now. I will... Wait, I need the shortest one ever. Two minutes and 38 seconds. I guess... I, I, yep, it's pack of building materials, two minutes. How long do I have? Oh wait, that's... This one... Five minutes. Okay, we're gonna make this one, assuming I can get enough spark to... Or sea marrow. We should take this guy and not burning it. Okay. Okay, I've made copper bars here. Got it. Let's take you out. Um, yeah, you, you can't make any more of those right now. I need food. So let's throw someone in here. Let's throw someone in here. Woodcutters camp needs stuff to chop. Guess I can take some of them out. <laughs> We want tools. We need fabric. And somehow we are just... We, we don't have plant fiber. Like, I guess we just have the unluckiest tree numbers ever. So our trade route. Yep. That'll be fine. Our keep goods thing. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I need the tools. So I need fabric. And I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, here's the tools. Carry them back. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can start assigning people here. Keep the goods, start carrying the tools over. Let's go. I, I, I think that means we make it, right? guy wants me to attack a trader and then I have to give him stuff we will have a trader show up so maybe we will attack them just to appease the ghosts you know they do drop some pretty sweet stuff and then I guess we could learn what attacking a trader does but that doesn't seem good with our prosperous settlement thing but you know it's, it's, it'll be a nice learning experience, even if we lose, you know. Okay, our resolve is low this storm, so we're going to take out some woodcutters. We 
I just need this harvester's camp so I can get the plant fiber more directly than the trees. Oh, and she won't show up during the storm. Got it. Oh, this person's good to go. We can claim that spirit. Nice free things. Um, really don't want to do it with sea marrow, but I do have two minutes, and I do have to finish. Keeping one of these things, right? Didn't that count? Okay, yeah, I'm at two out of two. Pretty sure my spark dude's not gonna make it, but it'll be close. And then I can attack the trader when we're done. Resolve is low, so I guess. Um, Hmm. 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 I think we can just ride this wave to the end of the storm. Oh, yeah, they left. Who cares? Plus one copper production is going to be nice. Then we just need some of these, uh, Events. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I still need to open up another cache. Oh, but I think that counts. If that counted the ghost one. That's awesome. So, in terms of selling things for, um, wait, that's been kicking in, huh? Um, I'm thinking that, uh, coat production's pretty sweet and so is the forager's camp. Uh, even though I normally wouldn't say those things in the past, I I, I think that uh, on this playthrough it seems like the right thing to do. Um, we could wait. How much? How much do we need? I, okay, like eleven. So we need to sell eleven amber worth of stuff. And I think we got it. Um, I'll go ahead and buy Amber. And... You know, I'm, I'm comfortable selling a little bit of this wood. We 
we'll trade that. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I should buy another one of these things, but eh, plus one clay production seems nice. And then we will attack the trader. You can order villagers to assault the merchant and take some of his wares, but we wear this has consequences. All right. News of your terrible deed has spread quickly. Wealthier traders are avoiding your settlement. Aww. Traders will avoid the settlement if possible. Trader arrival time is 50% longer. Aww. Two impatience points. Aww. One villager was killed. But we did get quite a bit of stuff. Okay. Well, we appeased the ghosts, right? That's what's important. This one I have longer on, so uh, 55 seconds. Yeah, I need to. I need to just need to claim this one with the sea marrow. Unfortunately, yeah, it's it's too close for my comfort. We'll just claim it. And then I can get rid of this guy. Put him in here. We'll get free stuff on glade openings. We'll get some coats. We'll get some oil and ale. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to try and get that in three minutes. We will definitely get that. Uh, five tools for minus five resolve. Uh, I, 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 I have to double down on this, even though our, our we got the bad, the negative trader effects. I think it's still good. Um, beavers stick around forever. Let's go with them. And then we'll put some back to work at wood cutting. I feel like I'm just struggling to hold on to people right now, which I mean, clearly, right? But satisfying these ghosts is um, was something I didn't think we were going to get done and we we did get it done so I you know I'm feeling fairly accomplished at that at least you know and we did pick up that foragers camp off of that trader um need someone in here anymore except to deliver the goods we just need to turn off our recipes return the stock forest delivery and then we can put them to work over in our nice workshop I'll go ahead and set the limits up to uh, let's go 30 And we are going to want to start burning cysts soon, I believe. Oh, and I just haven't built that last decoration. Okay. I can pull someone out of vegetables for that. Timed order ready to complete. It does count the ghosts. I love it. Wow, that, that was a big game changer there. So now we get five incense per minute, two to all of our packs of goods, and 12 simple tools. So we can do our trade routes a little bit more, right? Yeah, we'll just do more trade routes. 
It'll be fine. Yeah, I'll sell you a tool. Why not? You can trust me. I won't attack your traitor. Um, I, th I think we basically just sell everything that we can sell because um, it'll increase how good the trades are in the future, right? So, like, why, why not? We do need more packs of provisions for that, and that does take more resources, but... We have more pack production now than ever before. Clan Hall would be great because we're getting free incense. Uh, all camps produce 100% more yields. That's cool. Yeah, we're doing that. I didn't even look at these. Let's build our Clan Hall. And I do not need this ever again. Oh, but it can't be destroyed. <laughs> Alright, I do want to start making tools. The stone cutter has some stone to cut. Oh, that's funny. The people left that were uh, working this. The Harpy, I believe. But hey, they can gather some more stuff, right? Yeah, I'll go ahead and build a hearth out here. And a warehouse. Just cuz, right? Well, the real reason is because it'll give gatherers out here a place to sleep. Uh, and somewhere to store their stuff. Or, I guess not sleep, but take their little coffee break. Okay, you're out of copper. You can make some pottery, though. Maybe a little flower, right? Just in case. Put a lizard in here. Um, wait, where's that flower? Oh yeah, we don't need flower here. Turn those bricks. This needs planks. I need tons and tons of planks. And my woodcutters need to move. Let's go ahead and start chopping out over here. You know, even though we assaulted a, a trader, we can still go for a trade-heavy build, right? That's not shooting ourselves in the foot, is it? Small herbalist camp has nowhere to go except right here. Ha <laughs> ha. Sucker. This guy's still carrying the stuff back. This one's been done. Wow. 
but we're stacking up on some pretty nice perks we're gonna get that free incense for this and then this would be so good it, in fact it's so good I should stop collecting I should just stop a hundred percent more yields right that's insane And I can build I can focus on building other things like the blight post. This needs to be priority one. I need planks priority one. Oh, I need another one. <laughs> <laughs> Just one more. It's okay. And actually, I should probably should be making this out of planks too, instead of wood. Even though I'm already struggling with plank production, I feel like we'll get ahead at some point. Okay, force that delivery. One more. Come on. One more. We got it. They're going to deliver here in just a moment. Our builders will build our clan hall, and then we can go back to gathering, and we'll just get 100% more yields. Um... I mean, 30 resolve on beavers is probably more doable than finding the bathhouse at this point. We, we do have a lot of buildings to choose from, but we ha already have like a nice little amenities building. I forget what it's called. Service build. A service building. Oh, I've got homeless. Since the ha harpies are so fickle, I should probably make them happy. I'm still going to need another house after that. Um... Wrong button. Ooh, I've got tools. But I actually don't think I need to make that choice right now, so perhaps it's wise not to make that choice in case we find another nice little evil spirit or something. Yes, I know I just said a nice little evil spirit. I'm off the deep end now, eh? Ooh, I can sell four coal. Let's do it. We've got one wealth. It's double stacking, though, so it will go up faster. So even though our traders are coming 50% slower, they're, it's growing 100% faster. We're just doing a nice little offset there. Um, we can turn in important delivery for some tools. I do need packs of provisions. I'm gonna make it out of berries. I can turn planks down for what? Um, let's get people working in here. Let's get people working in our camps again now that they're at 100% production. 
right? That should be a really good thing for us. Oh, yes, we need a harpy in there. So, we'll take one out of the clan hall. We will take our people out of the woodcutters camps. Yeah, drop down to one. Cool. You can just work on stone cutting. And uh, harvesting. Uh, no, we'll leave a builder out. We got a new building. Market is nice. Um, I don't think it's going to be particularly useful for us, but plus 10 carrying capacity is hard to turn down. But uh, the temple should be easy to turn down. So I think we just go for the complex food stuff. Um... Yeah. And that's a nice place for lizards to work. They'll be happy there. We are at a high level of corruption, eh? Oh, we're going to get to 102%. That is not good. It is not good. Yeah, we need we, we do need planks at a higher priority, eh? Maybe I should turn that back. Yeah, and I shouldn't. I should never have that at ten. Though that is a huge increase of value. Now that I think about it, I'm fine with that. We are going to lose people to corruption, because I have no way of dropping it by 2%. So we're going to lose three random villagers here. Our blight post is never going to get built in time for them to build the flame and be able to uh, burn assist off. So that's a shame. Yep, three people died at the very end there. Oh well. Take the amber. One harpy for every 25 eggs. Showing it to us again. Too bad this isn't retroactive. Um, this one is so we can get some free tablets, which is basically just free amber, which turns into free resolve. Which turns into reputation. Two leather production. Yeah, we're going for the tablets. Maybe I should have re-rolled there. But I think that grabbing those perks finally is going to be a decent boost. One grain, one fabric. Perfect. And then we get another one in eight minutes. So we do need to satisfy... Have at least 14 villages with clothing to be fulfilled. We only have... Nine villagers that can do it. <laughs> it's great. 
Um, perhaps we should go into consumption control and start limiting what people can consume. Yeah. But we're not going to let that blight rot thing happen again. We'll keep a uh, lizard in there. We'll put our beavers back in here. I think it's time to cut into another glade. Um... You can put a lizard in there, beaver in there, and another beaver in there. But realistically, I need more people in here. This should always have two people in it, I think. Check out our trade routes again. Um, yeah, I'll sell them some coal. Do you have those tools we can use? Twenty amber might be really nice for our perk. Um, I think thirty copper would just be more tools, right? We have found. What's this? A forbidden glade. An ancient burial site. A rotten matter creeps up from underneath the burial site. Spawns six pieces of living matter if we don't do it. Okay. Um, wood cutting angers the dead. Hostility increases plus 15 for every two fallen trees. Okay, so we can just turn off tree cutting. Use some tools. That's fine with me. Knock out this event. Um, then this definitely looks like something we keep. Ooh, they changed this to an orange one. It used to be purple. Yeah, let's use our woodcutters to investigate that. Cool. Um, we could rebuild the artisan, which would give us coats. That could be useful, especially since it's going to be near our hearth. Not like super near, but... You know, also not super far. Uh, we don't have enough tools for this one yet because we're using them for our event. But we will be able to use them. And we'll probably end up keeping this as well. Even though we have incense on lock, you can always sell it. Well, not, not, not always. Just to certain traders. Harvester's camp is done, which means we can move you over here to our nice plant fiber selection. Thank you so much. And we still need more planks. Oh, well, yeah. And that forest delivery didn't even do anything. Oh, yeah. They get to deliver now because they were just grabbing wood. Sweet. It's a sweet one. Okay, we turned off packs of building materials for now. Our lizard resolve is actually doing quite nicely.
Perhaps we should have a few more of them in there. Oh, that's not good. They, they, the people in my clan hall died, which means that my camps haven't been getting the 100% yields. That's a feels bad moment. Um, anyway. I'm at uh, hour 36 recording. I need to take a break. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we will return on this daily quest to do our daily expeditions in hard mode and dealing with it and learning just on the fly. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. We I don't really feel like we accomplished much except getting a bunch of positives and negatives for those ghosts. But, um, you know, perhaps it would have been better to ignore the traitor one since we doubled down. But that's okay. That's for future people to decide and for us to just deal with it. Have a great one, y'all.